So I'm just going to introduce my story to you to just give some background on how I came to be foraging for a living and gathering wild plants as a job, which is, uh, I have to say, it's my dream job, and uh, I'm very satisfied to be doing that. Um, it all started when I was about six years old. My grandfather uh, took me out one morning. Um, it was quite a cold winter morning, and um, he knew something about the wild mushrooms that grew in the land um, surrounding his house. So I remember stepping outside the door. I can't remember if I saw it first or if he pointed it out, but we're looking across the field, and there's this strange object that's a different color to the grass, sort of about 150 yards away. Um, and either way, we started looking and walking towards it. He knew what it was, and I didn't. And we got closer and closer, and gradually this shape became clear. Um, what it was was a huge parasol mushroom, about this size. Um, and it really was you know, shaped like an ornate, beautiful um, lady's parasol. And he said, you know, you can eat that. We're, we're going we're gonna to get that on the way back, and we'll eat it. And then we went right into the woods. And, you know, you might think he'd stage managed it to make sort of the maximum impression on a small child. Um, but he wasn't that kind of person. I know he didn't do it. But the next two mushrooms that we found, one was a, one was a, a deep purple mushroom with a really sweet kind of mealy smell. So it looked amazing. It smelled amazing. Um, and then a couple of oh, mi minutes later, we found, um, that was called a wood bluet, by the way. Uh, a couple of minutes later, we found something called an ivory clitocybe. It's, it's a sort of an aqua blue on the top. And it smells very, very strongly of aniseed. And when we took it back to the house later, we, I found out it tastes strongly of aniseed, too. So that was my kind of initiation into foraging. And um, the thought that really got implanted in my mind during that experience was something which has pretty much stayed with me um, ever since. And I sort of guided the, the, uh, the interest that I've had and the, and the sort of quest to discover wild foods. Um, and it is, there is treasure in the woods and fields. 